Fellas, in my quest to go and review every single website all over the internet, I've come across some doozies recently, and I think now is the time to show you. Be warned, these sites are not for the faint of heart. If you're of weak constitution, please turn this video off now. But before you do, please subscribe and don't do that because that affects my average view duration. And I don't want you to do that because I need you to watch more because then I get recommended to more people. That's how YouTube works. Basically, I get further up in the algorithm the longer you watch. So you don't have to keep looking, but in the meantime, I would like it if you could just do your best to just keep the tab open and, and put it... I'm in. Yeah, I'm in. Okay. I forgot to say it's Web Surf Wednesday. <laughs> Fellas, welcome to Web Surf Wednesday. If you don't know what Web Surf Wednesday is, it is essentially... A, a, we, we look at every website that we can find. I have a site, websurf.coney.gg, okay? And if you go to that site, you'll see all kinds of wonderful things. You'll see this fella. And you can submit any website you want. Any website? Any website. Except, you know, don't get me banned. Please, don't do, you know what I, not any web, but almost any website, yeah. The first one, oh boy, we're gonna start this off feel good. We're gonna make some people happy with this one. Guys, welcome to my pig cafe. This is a cafe in Japan where you can meet pigs. I want to go so bad. Oh my god, they're all over the place. Tokyo, Kanto, and Kansai. Kanto isn't even real. That's like the Pokemon place, right? If I ever go to Japan, this is the first place I'm visiting. <laughs> Look at the site and his little pig trails. Oh my god, he has a house. I love him. Oh my god. If I ever do IRL streaming, it will be at a pig cafe. Look at this pig. Look at that coquettish look. Oh, me. Parasocial big relationship. I don't care. I would give him all my money. Yeah, dude. So I've wanted a pig my whole life, but they never stay this small. They really don't. Everybody's like, oh yeah, get a teacup pig. They stay that small. They don't. Like three months and this thing is a is a beast. Oh my god, look at that. Dude. God, I wish that were me. Oh my god! None of this is a joke. I want a pig before I I want a pig. They are so cute. His tail wags. Their tail wags when they're happy. They're just better dogs. How much to buy a pig? Fellas, which pig are you buying? I I think I'm a white pig kind of guy. The classic babe look. How much are micro pigs? Never buy a teacup pig. No! What do you mean? No, don't do that! Eight facts about teacup pigs that aren't so cute. They don't exist. <laughs> I know this is true. I know it's true. I know that pigs don't stay small. But it makes me so fat. So, so sad when I read it. To know that they get so fat. Owning a pig is not owning <laughs> like a cat or dog. See, this is what happens. I don't want that guy. That guy's ugly. I don't want that. No thanks. No thanks. I want this! Stay small forever, please. God, one day, one day Elon Musk will invent a miniature pig. And in that day, I will celebrate. Please, Elon. There are more pressing matters. Stop working on the Hyperloop! We already have a subway. Elon, make me a pig! While we're talking about animals, fellas, is this a rat? Or a mouse? I don't know. I think that's... Mouse have red eyes, right? This is a, a rat because of the tail. Because the tail's thicker. I think the thick tail is a rat. That's a rat because it looks like ratatouille. Except not blue. But I think that's what a rat looks like. That's a mouse because he's tiny. That's a rat because that shit is huge. So rats can have red eyes. That's a rat because he's in a street somewhere. And mice aren't usually there. That's a rat because he's big and has a big tail. That's a mouse because he's tiny. He's like a little field mouse. And he's in some kind of shed, which is where mice are often found. This one's a curveball. I want to say that one's a rat, but I don't know. It looks kind of big, but it's not a good camera angle. How'd I do? Oops, this is a mouse. Got these three right. Not bad. 
Dude! I'm killing it! You know you're from Maryland, Virginia when you can't tell the difference between a rat and a mouse. I literally did! I literally did! All the way through! How about the next one? Boom! I said that was a mouse? Oh, he is big. Why did I... Uh, no, I just mixed these two up. No, 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 no. I didn't get this wrong. No, I, they switched the pictures. Yeah, rats are bigger. That's it. That's it. That's the only... That's all you gotta know. Rats are big mice. Period. And now that we know the difference between rats and mice, we can play a little game. This is a game I like to call... The Ratchelor. Let's embark. You are... The Ratchelor. A single rat looking for love. You will meet many rats and choose who to keep round after round until you find true love. I think I'm the Dalmatian one. That one's really speaking to me, I think. Flea infested rat? Those aren't fleas. They're spots. Meet your suitors. So I get seven contestants. Highness Lori. I'm not here to make friends. Mig Mouse. My ideal rat partner is like Stuart Little. Dr. Plagius. You could say I'm sick with love. That's a smooth dude. Dr. Plagius, for sure. Yeah. A real rat. Definitely a rat. That's suspicious. Reggie. Just a robot looking to learn what love I'll pick the robot. Yeah. I'll show him love. Jagadoo. I don't slow down for anybody. Oh, he's a bad boy. That's a bad... I can change him, though. Slim Jim. Put a little sparkle in your life. Oh. Good lord, Slim Jim. Turn down the heat a little bit. Templeton. Blueberries are seasonal, but I eat them every day. <laughs> okay. All right, you got me with that one. Big fan. What is this one? Hottie Thespial. Every rose has its thorn. Well, that one's curvy. I like that rat. Yeah. That's like the rouge of the rat kingdom. Garrett, do you like cheese? I do like cheese. Oh, who do I get rid of? I'll get rid of Templeton. I think this is the right lineup. No Hempleton? No, dude. Who would I get rid of for Hempleton? Hempleton could have been your true love. Well, another life, maybe. In another world. Garrett, I applied to the show because I dared to dream that someone else could love cheese as much as I do. You guys want to know my secret quirk? I'm a mouse that doesn't like cheese. Yuck. Oh, wow. I can uh, barely see you, but I really like how the top of your head looks. Wow. He's tall. That's all I can say. Wow. Love me a tall man. Tall, dark, and mysterious. I can't even see his face. Oh my god, he has money everywhere. Hey, cool cat. You ever see someone who can do two magic tricks at once? What? <laughs> okay. Bye. I wish he would have showed me. Imagine there's no heaven and no religion too. Nothing. Oh, it's fucking... It's fucking John Lennon. Somebody programmed the robot rat to be John Lennon. But he did make begonias. Yuck. No thanks, John. I'm looking good today. I I value that. Yeah, I value confidence. That's a confident rep. I dig it. Five contestants to continue. Oh, dude, two are gone. John Lennon robot and Dr. Plagius, I'm sorry. But I just don't feel the same. I'm not in love. Next up. Wow, the sparkle in your eyes is almost as brilliant as the sparkle in mine. Maybe if we stare into each other's eyes long enough, they'll reflect into a supernova. Wow. What a different thing to say. Do you like music too? You should beat the bandmates at some point. He's in a band? Sorry to hear that. He's in a band? Not dating a musician. He's not gonna make me any money! I need somebody who I can rely on. I need stability. Ever since I was a baby, I had a special connection to cheese. Red flag. I can't even imagine a world without it. I'm so thankful for the dairy industry, for the cows, the goats, all of them. If any of you are watching The Ratchelor out there and help make cheese, I want to say thank you. This motherfucker is pandering to the cheese industry. He's really trying to get a job at the cheese factory after this show. Yuck. One time I was running with the gang back at Cirque du Soleil, and as soon as that elephant got on stage and some acrobat was doing gymnastics on its back, well, all eyes were on him. I ran to the admissions desk and booked it with the ticket stubs. <laughs> Been living off that money ever since. Here, do you want some? Hands you a dollar. Oh, wow! Wow! Jagadoo knows the way to my heart. Jagadoo gets a rose. No question. Jagadoo made it to the finals for sure. He gave me a dollar. There's plenty more where that came from, too. Look at that. 
Garrett is gone. I don't like Garrett because he likes cheese so much. Yeah, I think Garrett's gone first. Him and I just have nothing in common. Keep Garrett? No. He knows I don't like cheese and it's all he talks about. He doesn't even listen to my feelings. I used to be a lab rat. They were experimenting on me with growth serum until one day I have a growth spurt and got bigger than my cage. So they kind of let me go. Oh, a tragic backstory. That's why he's a musician. He has anguish and grief inside his heart. Very interesting. I feel like I tell you so much and all you ever do is reply to me, but I don't know a single thing about you. What even is your name? What makes your heart beat in the morning? Why do you think you deserve me or anyone else on this show? Sounds to me like you just got lucky. Now everyone's swooning over you, but you're just like the rest of them. You know what? That's very interesting. She's asking the real question. She's trying to get behind the show. That's not a yuck. No. No. She's inquisitive. And she doesn't mindlessly listen to authority. And that is interesting. I picture this rose. I grew up myself in my single rose garden and pruned its leaves and dyed its petals the perfect luxurious red so I could give it to you because we both deserve nothing less than perfection. That's a really shitty rose. That's an awful rose. It has like one petal. That's a yikes. That's a yikes. No, I don't like it. I'm sorry, Slim Jim. But your journey ends here. If I asked you for your last rose, would you even give it to me or would you throw it at one of those other rats? Mind you, I'm not asking for anything but you, but you need to think about this decision or maybe I'll just walk off myself. Okay, hottie, you're kind of stepping over the line a little bit here. I've got you in the final three and you're still going to talk like this to me? Yuck. Sometimes I like to go to the auto shop and watch them work on cars. Once I drove there, but my car was too small and they almost stepped on it. Thought it was a Hot Wheels. It's not though, it runs on renewable energy. Wow! Eco-consciousness from a rat. Dude, he's forward thinking. I like this guy. I also like Woodpug for subscribing to the channel. And if you subscribe to the YouTube, I would like that too. Go ahead and give me a rose by subscribing below. 7 out of 10? I mean, it was just it, straight off the top, you know? Hey, let's go down to my old haunts and see if we can tie everyone's shoelaces together without them noticing. Ooh, bad boy. Jagadoo, you dog. Oh, care for some juice? I think Hottie's gone. Do I pick two? Hottie's gone. Yeah, she got too sassy there at the end. Pick this up for you. It's a sandwich from my aunt's bakery down near the promenade. Cheese and more cheese with a bit of tomato and a single leaf special. Wait, what did you say was in that sandwich? Uh, this is a problem. He hasn't been listening to me this entire time. He knows I don't like cheese and yet he's still here? Cheese is a big yuck, and I can't believe he offered it to me. Disgusting. Jagadoo, you almost make me want to stop my dastardly ways and go live a boring life just sitting around the house and like eating the same Dude, this is what I was talking about! I can change him! Yes! We're gonna settle down! Wow! We're gonna settle down together! He's changed! Bear is the safe bet. I know he'll be there forever and always cherish me. But where's the excitement in life, hmm? I need somebody that's gonna get me excited, get my blood pumping, make me feel alive, and give me money. It's Jagadoo. I'm gonna propose to Jagadoo. Jagadoo, I love you. Please marry me. Yes! Yes! He said yes! Listen, sugar, I think you're sweet. What do you say we find ourselves in Alcove out west and spend the rest of our lives body and Clyde style? We're taking over the west coast! Oh, it's beautiful. What's the epilogue? Where are they now? Garrett makes up a house that's also breakfast, lunch, and... God, he loves cheese so much. He was a mistake. Slim Jim is blinded by Mig Mouse's muscles. See, there you go. Slim Jim found happiness. I'll give it up. And that is the Ratchelor. It was pretty fun. I dug it. It was nice. Next up, fellas. There's a site called Spurious Correlations. Did you know that U.S. spending on science, space, and technology directly correlates with suicides by hanging, strangulation, and suffocation? Did you know that the number of people who drowned by falling into a pool directly correlates with the films that Nicolas Cage has appeared in? But as one goes up, the other goes up. And as one goes down, the other goes down. Coincidence? Per capita cheese consumption correlates with the number of people who died by becoming tangled in their bedsheets. 
Strange dreams from eating too late at night? Or poisoned cheese? The divorce rates in Maine correlates with margarine consumption. Now they are on the downswing, which is great. I'm happy for couples in Maine, and I'm also happy nobody's eating margarine anymore. That shit's gross. People who drowned after falling out of a fishing boat correlates with marriage rate in Kentucky. Is that- are these all setups? Maybe these are all mistresses. Japanese passenger cars correlates with suicides by crashing of cars. That one actually might be- I'm skipping that one. Oh, man. That one, oh, oh, man. I'm not trying to end up on a list. He knows too much. I'm gonna get bogged. Yeah, that one, that one... I'm getting too close to the truth. I think that site's cool. I dig it. I'm a fan. Apparently, it's old as shit. But I liked it. I'd never seen it before. I haven't spoiled myself, but somebody sent me a Zillow listing. I don't know anything about this house. I don't know what's inside. Pretty good kitchen. This looks pretty modern. It's like, it's like got an all, a rustic charm. Uh, it's definitely an old house, but it's pretty fixed up. Yeah, this can, we can fix this up, but it definitely has some old world charm. Weird placement of sink. Do you guys get weirded out when bathrooms like this have, have windows? Is that just me? Anytime I find a window in a bathroom, I'm like, uh, cow? Sure. This all looks pretty standard so far. Like, upstairs, it... Hmm. Something is amiss. <laughs> I feel like you can rotate it slightly and make it smaller. This is like something from The Sims. How did this get... It, it's clipping into the ceiling. Is that the only thing? <laughs> Go back, that door had a window? Well, no, that's a, that's a, that's called a mirror. Yeah, you look into it to see yourself. Oh, God. Okay. So this is like the Batman room. Yeah, so you could like sneak in here, I guess. This is your panic room. Where are we going? Oh, God. Um, that's a Resident Evil puzzle. To turn on the hot water, you have to match up the gems. Okay, a bit more normal. This just looks like store... Uh, is this an old prison? Why didn't you lead with this? Why is this the last thing? Could you imagine if you're going to buy a house and you saw the first 20 pictures and you're like, oh, it's perfect. Jeremy will love to live here. There's a great yard, plenty of space, and the window in that upstairs room is so funny. He'll laugh every time he looks at it. And then you get here. Oh, God. Oh my god, what the fuck is this? This is like bird seed. That's mold? That's mold? That's not mold. No way. Are those ants? What happened here? We're, we're escaping now. We're going, we're getting out. Ah, we're outside. We're safe. We made it. This is like a dead by daylight map. Only 150k, by the way. Not bad. It's sold in February to a psychopath. If you bought this house... Please call me. I would love to set up an interview. Let's collab. While we're talking about, um, places, I found a map of very rude places. Or rather, vaguely rude places. They're not quite on the nose. But for instance, near where I live, here in Maryland, you can find a little place known as Blue Ball, Pennsylvania. Intercourse, Pennsylvania. <laughs> What about Cockeysville, Maryland? <laughs> How rude. How rude. What a rude place. Let's check out what's going on uh, over here on the West Coast, though. Surely they're more proper, right? Knob Hill. Glory Hole Recreation Area. That's not vaguely rude. That's... <laughs> There's no joke there. What? That's just so I can, I can see. You know, if I can... Glory Hole Recreation Area. Wow, look at this place. It's a 12,500 surface acre lake. The fourth largest reservoir in California. Look at that hawk. Wow, it is real. I'm not going to look at any other lakes. I could have just wiped my Twitch career. I'm going to do a YouTube video where I click around every vaguely rude place on the planet. And if I laugh, I give $500. This is my you laugh, you lose. And I have to read places like Wanks River and Lake Titicaca. Come. 
in Brazil. That there's a town just called Cum. Tampon <laughs> reunion. <laughs> oh, I already lost it. So a few people have submitted a couple sites from this one. There's a site on the internet known as Neil.fun. They have something about uh, what, how much stuff gets sold, capitalism, Samsung selling 40 million things, Advil, two Advils a second, a lot of like interactive web-based uh, sort of think pieces, kind of. Not really think piece, that's not right, the right thing to call them, but exhibitions about certain things. It's pretty cool. There were two things. One of these was this draw logos from memory. I wanted to see how well I could do. I assume that they're all easy, but maybe not. I feel like the McDonald's logo is pretty close, right? That's good. Yeah. It's like, it's like, it's softer, but I think it does have a check. Fuck! It's a swoosh. I didn't know it was a swoosh. I thought it, I, it's still the same thing, vaguely. If I was playing Mario Party, I would get like a, an 80 for this. Apple logo. Oh, that's easy. That's... Don't forget the bite. Don't forget the bite, everyone. Hell yeah! Dead on, dude! Five out of five on that! Two thumbs way up! Oh, fuck. No. No. No, I knew it was a... I knew it was a mermaid. I'm not doing it. That's too much. I'll just draw it as I see it. Which is... Dude, there's no way to do this! Mmm, I want some coffee! Anybody thirsty? Pepsi. Oh, fuck, I don't know. Isn't it the word Pepsi? What the fuck is the Pepsi logo? I, I know it's the ball, but isn't it like a... It's like a yin-yang thing? Do okay, no, 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 no. Old sight. Old sight. Old sight alert. No, 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 no. no fuck. Has there always been a white part in Pepsi? Well, I couldn't pick white here, so I can't... No, 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 I couldn't have picked white, so... I... How would I have done it? If I can't pick the white color, how do I do it? I can't do it. Twitter logo. Let's make a bird. Does it have feet? No. That's a duck. If I fill it in, it'll look better. Pretty... There. Fuck! The wings! And the... That's a wing. Saved. Saved. <laughs> Saved. Oh, fuck you. God, you, 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 you son of a bitch. Pretty good, actually, right? Pretty good. Not bad. Y yeah. Yeah. Not bad. I've the arms are 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 modules, but pretty good. Life checklist. Let's see. Be born. Did that. First steps, yeah. Words, read, friend. Book. Nah, yeah, I don't, I don't, I never learned how to ride a bike. Yeah. Did you guys not know that? I've talked about it before. Yeah, I, do, I don't know how. I can rollerblade very good. I'm very good at rollerblading. I never learned how to ride a bike. How will you teach your daughter? I think about it. I think about it a lot. I really do. Yeah. I'm, I'm literally, this is not a joke. This is not a joke. I'm probably gonna learn riding a bike in the next year by going to the parking lot over there at, at like 3 a.m. I think I'm gonna go there at 3 a.m. on a bike so nobody sees me. Sign a contract, get a job, get promoted, get a paycheck, get fired. I... I did get fired, yeah. I, I For like a week, I moved mattresses. And they got mad at me because their other employees were like 6'3", jacked as fuck, 250 pound, muscle bound dudes. And I was like 19 years old. I don't know why they hired me. I, I got hired for sales. They said they wanted me to work sales and they're like, yeah, we just need you to move some mattresses. And then those motherfuckers would put two, like one on each shoulder and just barrel up the steps. And I'm like, huh? Buy a house, have a kid, get married, engage, teach your kid to walk. Yup. Pog. Teach your kid to talk. Still working on it. Watch your kid graduate. That's quite a step forward. Married, grandparent, retire, story, solar eclipse, plane, a garden, turn 100, travel the world. I've gotten most things. Deep sea? Oh, God. I hate the deep sea. Oh, God. Yeah, I was going to say, the friends are... Microsoft Edge. Damn, Microsoft? Microsoft is Pog. Let's go down here. No, don't set as default. I like you this one time. 
look at the scroll bar. Good lord. A thick build Murray dive. Wait, that's a penguin. Penguins could go this low? A bird? <laughs> Underwater? Well, now I've seen everything. Kelp. A terrible claw lobster. Arr! <laughs> He's terrible. A gummy shark. Oh, I eat those all the time. A sea angel. <gasps> oh, it's beautiful. Emperor penguin dive. Damn, that's deep. How did a bird get this far down? Ew! Oh! Thank God I don't live in Japan. I don't want to see that. I hate that dude. By the way, I don't know if you can see. Look at this fucking scroll. Do you see this? Do you see how how much left there is of the ocean? Oh, we're in the midnight zone. No sunlight. There is no sunlight here. These animals have never seen the sun. Isn't that insane? Big red jellyfish. A giant tube worm. Those are Silent Hill monsters. Oh, six gill shark. A shark down here? That deep? Barrel eye fish. Oh, yeah, they have a transparent head. Yeah, dude. You can see their brain. Fish are scary, dude. I hate fish. Cosmic jellyfish. Dude, the ocean is so freaky. All these things have lived on our planet forever and ever. Cookie cutter shark. Oh my god, this shark takes cookie shaped chunks out of his prey. How do you know? The Titanic wreckage. Oh, it's that far? Damn. Dumbo octopus. That's so mean. Oh, dumbass can't get up to the surface. Oh, it's so deep now. Sea pig. <gasps> Cute. Cute. Faceless. Fi oh my god. What a fucking nightmare. A fish without a face? That's just a football. Is this a faceless fish? What the fuck? How did he get it? How long was the fishing line? It would have taken a year for the fishing line to reach that point of the ocean. Many probes and submarines have been lost trying to reach the deepest parts of the ocean. We've never seen it? On January 23rd, 1960, about nine years before the moon landing, humans went where they had never went before. Two men, Jacques Picard and Don Walsh, on board of the submarine Triste, slowly descended into the trench. Here they go. The goal was to reach the Challenger Deep, the deepest point in the ocean. The immense pressure of the deep sea means any mistake would mean certain death. Oh, God, dude. During the descent, one of the window panes cracked and shook the entire- Oh, God! But they continued. After four hours and 47 minutes, they succeeded and became the first humans to reach the deepest point in the ocean, the Challenger Deep. They touched the ground. Holy shit. Good movie. Good movie. Good for them. Where they still remain to this day. Man, what an adventure.